All right, I am going to start this video by first apologizing for my little guy because he will be making noise in the background. So I'm going to explain um, the inventions unit that we're going to be doing for the next couple of weeks. Uh, the video that I tried to upload this morning for some reason is not working, so we're going to go with this style instead. So what you'll have here is you will start brainstorming an idea for an invention. And so for us to come up with an idea for inventions, we need to first come up with areas of need. And what areas of need are for us is little mini problems or annoyances that we have throughout the day, our everyday life, things at home, things in school, uh, things that we can somehow come up with an invention that, that can help us, okay? And when we come up with this invention, it needs to be made out of recycled material. When I say recycled material, I don't need all recyclables. I mean things that we already have at our disposal, such as rubber bands, cardboard, plastics, toys, all these different things that we have already in our world around us that we can just put together, that work together to make an invention, okay? So when I go to the directions here, so our directions are brainstorm areas in your daily life that could use an improvement. Think of inventions that you could make out of recycled material that could help in these areas. Brainstorm six areas of need and six invention ideas. All right. So for you remote students, you are going to be over here in the far left box. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to write down an area of need. For example, if your area of need is, say, you're really sick of food falling off your plate when you eat. All right. I've had a student do this in the past. So you would write down under area of need, food falling off plate. Then you need an invention idea to actually fix that area of need. So the invention idea could be, okay, I am going to construct a apparatus or some kind of container that goes around my plate. And I am going to be able to fit that on any plate so it catches all the food. So when I summarize that, what I need to put in the box here is a brief summary of an invention idea. So I might say something like um, a device that will fit on the outside of any plate that catches all food off of the plate and easily lets me throw it away, okay? So that's what I would put in the box and the column in the second column, okay? And possible material needed. So there I'm just brainstorming what maybe I could make it out of. Okay, so I might make it out of plastic. I might make it out of uh, plastic and cardboard and glue. I might use those items to do it. So I would list those things in that box. Then I would create a sketch of my idea very briefly. I would briefly sketch that thing. And then where it says peer suggestions for change, you're not going to fill that box out um, remotely. That's something that we can only do in class for this week. Um, then you're going to repeat that process six times. So there are six full boxes. There's one little half box that was on there by mistake. So you can just skip over that one and you can fill out all of the full boxes um, with your invention ideas. Now, when you're coming up with areas of need, this is where students get stuck the most. When you're coming up with areas of need. I want you to really focus on trying to come up with basic ideas. I've had students in the past um, create a create a eraser that had an extender on it so that they could reach the top of the board. I've had students come up with scented necklaces to keep them awake in the afternoon. It's really up to you and it's really basic invention ideas. So sorry, my son's getting in the way, but that is my brief explanation of what you're going to be doing on this chart. I might need to come up with a new video system that an invention that somehow blocks out little kids' voices when you're trying to make teacher videos. Right? Have a good day. I'm doing six.